Hello, and directly in front of me, I've got the motorhome Stellplatz in Strella on the Elbe River. This is a fantastic location. As you can see, look at the views. Well, you can't because I'm standing in the view. You just have to imagine. I'll turn the camera around a bit later. This is an old historic town, Strella. It's even a uh, name is not German, but Sorbian. It means arrow. And, or it could mean the confluence of two rivers, some like an arrowhead uh, forming. So this place, uh, unfortunately now costs seven euros. The council just realized it's got a wonderful location and could charge for it. Now, this is a Sunday in July. It's the first Sunday in July and look, there's only four or five RVs there. I'm not certain that that one, second one along is a motor, uh, a camper or not. Uh, so, uh, um, but fantastic, no really it's, uh, and also caravans are permitted if we come along here. Now for seven euros, what do you get? Well, you get this fantastic view. And uh, there's no service, no electricity, no dump, no nothing. Uh, it was free for many years and it's only this year, 2022, that the council realized it could actually get something for it. This is the Lorenzkirch, where I am right now. You can see there's one camper, motorhome, I should say, automobile uh, parked down there, and I'm over there. I might be able to just make me out. And uh, one of the features here, there is a ferry, which goes across the Elbe River. Now, uh, why did I come here? I shall tell you. This is the location of the place, this is the place where the Americans and the Soviets met in World War II. It wasn't Torgau on the Elbe, which is approximately 45 kilometers by road from here. It was here in this location. Uh, the reason why they pretended it was Torgau uh, was because, well, that was the bit that became famous because the news per per people were there. It was really here. But the problem here was that uh, there was a um, pontoon bridge here. Uh, it was put up by the Wehrmacht, the German army. And uh, as people were flooding trying to, to it, trying to escape the Soviets, the Red Army, but the uh, Wehrmacht blew it up too early and there was people congregated around here and the Soviets opened fire on them with artillery and between 200 and 400 people died. And so when they crossed here the first time, they um, didn't really want to have their photographs taken amongst a field of corpses. And so the people were buried in a mass grave in the church, which is right there, which you might be able to make out, but there was a tree in front of it. Oh, you can make it out. Anyway, that's why I came here to have a look at this location. And that, in my opinion, is a great location. If you're interested in history, or if you're not interested in history, it's a great location for your van. Even if it does cost seven euros, but mind you, for seven euros, where are you going to get a view as good as this? Thanks very much for watching. Hope you found that interesting. And all the best from me in Lorenzkirch, talking about the Stellplatz in Strela.